Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick video. I got my newest diamond painting in the mail. And so I wanted to do a quick unboxing for you. This is an exciting one for me because as I mentioned in my previous post, May is Eller Stanlow's Awareness Month and EDS is something that has impacted my life pretty significantly and is an unfortunately unknown and underdiagnosed condition that impacts so many people. It is a genetic collagen disorder and it really is something that can impact multi systems in the body because collagen is in every cell of the body. So all of your connective tissues, organs, all of your digestive dysfunction, a lot of that can all be attributed. Um, patients with Ehlers-Danlos also have autoimmune conditions. They can have heart conditions such as postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I have kind of the trifecta of all of that. And I was diagnosed very late in life, which is fairly common for those with EDS. I was 38 when I was diagnosed and I deal with a lot of things every single day. And one of the most known and easily identifiable symbols for EDS awareness is the zebra. The reason that EDS has that kind of symbol of that chronic invisible illness is because in medical books, when you're going through medical school, they're told if you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras. But what is important to remember, and again, that is so that you're not diving down the rabbit hole every time that you think that you hear a unique series of symptoms and symptomatology and thinking that every time you see a patient, they have a rare condition. But here's the thing. While not every time you hear hoofbeats, is it a zebra? There are times when it is a zebra. And zebras exist. We exist. We're here and we need more diagnoses. We need more awareness. We need more help and resources and education around our illness and ways that we can help ourselves as well as advocate so that those diagnoses are coming quicker for folks and those dots are getting put together. So I wanted to use May as a wonderful opportunity to do this next piece of art, to talk about Eller Sandlos and put this beautiful zebra together. So that's what this is. And let's uh, go ahead and get in here so that you can see this beautiful canvas and all that it is going to become. So one thing about these diamond paintings, if you've never had one, I'm sorry, I just bumped my camera, um, is that they come kind of in these sleeves or in a box that will be similar to the sleeve and you kind of have to roll it out. So we're just gonna do that and we're gonna let it rest a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of a trick here to get it to roll the opposite direction and maybe lay flat, just kind of gently I'm rolling it opposite. It's a fun little trick to kind of get things going. I will show you this amazing canvas in a moment, but just to give it a good rest, we're just going to kind of let it do that and sit here while I show you what else you get. So you also get a fun little tool kit and it's going to come with Almost every diamond painting kit is going to come with every tool that you're going to need. They vary a little bit in what you're going to see. Um, you also can get like larger supplies. You're going to see me many times with other things, a different pen, that kind of things. But you'll get a pen that you load kind of with this sticky wax that comes with it as well. This is, you know, the pink wax. It has a film and it just helps you to pick it up. So you're just, you know, take the, the film off like so, just have to peel it back and then you stick that into the pen and then you just get that loaded in here and then it makes the tip sticky so that it can pick up the diamonds. Okay, and the diamonds are called drills and that's how you create your art. You will pour them out. It also comes 
with these little baggies. This is kind of nice for extra. I always put mine in kind of a storage container um, to separate it out to make it a little bit easier. You get a little bit of a tray because once you pour them in here, then you can use your pen and then just pick them up one by one to place, okay? So you get your wax, your tray, your baggies, and your pen. Okay, move that to the side. And then here's our drills, okay? They're gonna come, they're usually, like I said, bunched together like this so that the canvas can go around them. And this is the color packet that we're gonna get with this beautiful piece, okay? So I'm gonna turn it around here. It'll show you kind of the number um, that's coinciding with the symbols, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm gonna turn it around just so you can see the colors. We get some beautiful greens and grays. There's so much with this beautiful zebra. So I wanted to share this color packet. You guys, look at this. Look at these deep purples. And look at that shine. I mean, incredible. Look at this. <laughs> I just, oh, this deep green. I have a favorite. Okay, here we go. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. And you can really, in this light, you can kind of see some of that gorgeous shine that you get when you start putting these things together. Okay, so now I'm gonna put our drills to the side and let you see this canvas. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the full image, um, again, because it's all symbols. I wanna get a little closer up so that you can kind of get an idea of what these look like. So you're gonna see all of these symbols. And then what you have is kind of a grid that has, um, sorry, I've got some stuff going on here in the background. Um, we've got a grid here that will show you exactly the color keys, right? With the numbers that were on the back of the package that I had showed you. And it'll kind of give you an idea of what you're supposed to do and put what color to what symbol that's in here. And then when it comes together, when you get further away, you can see that gorgeous zebra. So I'm gonna put this bad boy to life and we are going to see these magnificent stripes and colors come to be um, during the month of May in honor of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And uh, I can't wait to put this beautiful piece together for you and to share the, uh, the fun and gorgeous hobby of diamond art and so that you can see how sometimes these beautiful mosaics can put together a clear picture and uh, I just think that there's so much beauty and symbolism there with that especially with this specific idea so all right any questions let me know I'm excited and we're gonna get started <laughs> bye